हाय गई हाउ आर यू ऑल टुडे मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे इज एटींथ जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री माय नेम इज टी एस वी राघवन एंड आई लिव इन चेन्नई तमिलनाड इंडिया दिस इज माय स्पिरिचुअल व्लॉग ऑन यूट्यूब हरी बोल टी आर एस वी नेक्टर एन ई सी टी ए आर नेक्टर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर व्लॉग in all my previous videos we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books scriptures contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe this particular video is no exception to that rule in fact it is a mere continuation of what we have been doing in all my previous videos kindly subscribe to this video and press the bell icon so that i may keep reminding you of all my other videos so let us continue with the topic for today in this particular video today we shall discuss about destiny and karma in detail if possible according to the spiritualist of you the spiritual spark when it becomes a soul and then a living entity on being enveloped by four layers of material body begins to take birth in various species these species are grass cell algae amoeba weeds plants trees insects worms creepers reptiles amphibians animals birds etc there are several lakhs of such species when the living entity takes birth in these species then the karma or the deeds of that particular birth in that species turn only into memories in other words no other action is taken for the deeds of a particular living entity in those species however as soon as this living entity gets evolved into taking birth in human beings a thing called karma begins please remember that there are at least 4 lakh human species alone and the living entity has a wide range of births it can take among human species what is karma karma is a set of deeds made by or committed by that living entity 
in a human birth. That is, in other words, this living entity is asked to take a responsibility for its actions whether it is in male form or in female form. These karmas are recorded meticulously and during a particular lifetime some at least 75% of those karmas are worked out in those lifetime itself. 25% of them in a particular lifetime remain. These 25% are stored in the psyche of that particular living entity for further use. This is known as Sanchit Karma. As for example, suppose a living entity gets evolved enough to take its first birth as a human being. In that case, whatever major karma it does or acts in, in that particular lifetime is worked out during that lifetime or the residue is saved in what is known as Sanchit Karma as a reservoir or storage in the psyche of that living entity. This living entity, when it takes another bus, it takes time to and efforts to work out not only the karma of the second birth but also the karma of the first birth. It may or may not succeed. A residue may still remain. This residue from the first birth is increased with the residue of the karma of the second birth which could not have been worked out even in the lifetime of the second birth. Thus, the residue of the first birth and the residue of the second birth together form a part of the storage of Sanchit Karma of that living entity. This cycle goes on and on. On an average, all of us human living entities have taken several births and deaths in this terra firma or buloka or material world and we have this residue of karma of several births which is lying in store in our own sanchit karma in our own sight. Now, suppose we have already taken 100 births. So, the residue of 100 births karma is stored in our own sanchit karma. In the 101st birth, what we do is that we take a slice of this Sanchit Karma to be worked out in this 101st birth. That is, we take birth in the 101st birth according to that slice of Sanchit Karma which we have taken responsibility to work out in the 101st lifetime. Accordingly, our own nature 
gives us the circumstances, the opportunity and the surroundings to take birth in a particular place. This is only so that we are facilitated by nature to work out that Sanchit Karma. As for example, if one living entity worked as a businessman or took birth as a businessman in several of its births before, suppose there were 100 births of which 90 it worked or was born in a family of businessmen. In such a case, the Sanchit Karma of the first 10 births plus the Sanchit Karma of the other 90 births are put together and kept in store of Sanchit Karma of the psyche of that particular living entity. In the 101st birth, the same living entity takes birth in such a place that it can work out the Sanchit Karma of the 100 past births of which 90 were in the form of a businessman, a trader, a manufacturer, etc. This is to facilitate that particular living entity to work out its Sanchit Karma. Here it had taken a slice from its own Sanchit Karma to be born in a family of traders and businessmen. As a result of this, even the genes of the gross body of that living entity are attuned to business and to the other nuances of business. This would only make it possible and facilitate for the living entity to work out its past karma as a businessman. This is applicable to everyone from every walk of life. Carpenters, blacksmiths, goldsmiths, businessmen, musicians, writers, poets, scholars, educationists, monks, saints, rishis, maharishis, soldiers, politicians and the like are people who had probably taken birth in that capacity in their previous lifetimes also. That was precisely the reason why they took a slice from their own Satchit Karma to be born in this position in this particular lifetime. It was to facilitate working out that karma in this lifetime. This slice of karma taken from Sanchit Karma for a particular birth is known as Prarabdha Karma. Prarabdha means what a living entity is destined to do or experience in a particular lifetime. In that particular lifetime, it becomes a seeded player with that slice of Sanchit Karma called its own Prarabdha Karma. Along with this, the same living entity does new karma in that particular lifetime. This 
न्यू कर्मा इज नोन एज क्रियमान कर्मा फ्रॉम द प्रारब्ध कर्मा दिस लिविंग एंटिटी वर्क आउट अ कपल ऑफ कर्मा एंड रेड्यूस्ड इट्स प्रारब्ध कर्मा बट फ्रॉम द क्रियमान कर्मा of the present birth some karma which it could not work out in this lifetime gets added to the already existing prarabdha karma which it was born with this becomes what is known as agami karma that is this new slice of the past prarabdha karma along with the unworked percentage of kriyaman karma of this lifetime becomes what is known as agami karma this gets stored again in the sanchit karma which was already existing in the next birth the same living entity will take a slice of that sanchit karma which includes the agami karma of this birth so that it can work out its karma of the past including this birth which becomes its past birth in its next birth this looks quite complicated but actually it is quite simple if you understand what you sow so you reap you are judged by the karma of your own sight what you say or do in a lifetime comes back to you in another lifetime or in this lifetime itself with interest nobody can as a human being whether he is a male or she is a female can escape his or her karma or the influence of his or her own karma one has to enjoy or suffer through his or her all sanchit karma until <clears throat> no karma is left out for that particular living entity in the material world only then this particular living entity can get liberated from repeated births and deaths and then ultimately get delivered to the supreme personality of god has this is the mystery or the plan strategy plan of god divinity and nature for every living entity this along with the past memories of birth in other species helps build one particular personality in a particular living entity some have good karma some have bad karma and the others have indifferent karma that is the reason why every living entity has an equal opportunity to either become divine remain human or go down to devilish planets or hellish planets as demons everyone has an equal right to 
live his or her own life in a particular manner we should never forget the fact that we as human beings are alone responsible for what happens to us in this lifetime or in future lifetime to explain this i explained about sanchit karma prarabdh karma kriyaman karma and agami karma this will make the student of spirituality who views this video understand his or her life better this is all honed to make us perfect evolved souls who get liberated from repeated births and deaths and then get poised to be delivered to the supreme personality of godhead from tomorrow we will talk about a few case histories which would make us understand karma and destiny better kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular matter please give me your own expert views ideas and opinions so that i may blend everything together for the sake of this society before concluding let me remind you that i am also a published author with amazon kindle and paperback i write on spiritualism fiction and assorted subjects spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject in before we meet in my next video it is good morning from tsv raghavan